Hello everybody, hello, 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 and welcome back to this channel. My name is Zanele Rutmazazi. I am a South African teacher currently living in South Korea and teaching English. For the past couple of months, I've been creating content on various social media platforms, just documenting, you know, my experiences of being here in South Korea as a foreigner and as an expert. And since I started creating and consuming a lot of content related to living abroad and working abroad, I've observed that there is a common thread in our experience. You know, we might be coming from different countries, moving to different countries in the world, but everyone experiences the loneliness and the isolation that comes comes with moving to a country that's different from yours. I'm hoping that through my experience and what I've observed and just what I've been writing down and journaling, I can share some of those things and some of those tips and help you prepare better if you are, you know, thinking of moving abroad or if you are already living abroad, I'm hoping that this can, you know, make you see yourself in some of these points that I'm going to mention. I'd like to start off by reminding you that you are not alone. If you are currently living abroad and experiencing feelings of isolation and loneliness and you are questioning a lot of things in terms of like deciding to go to that country, you need to remember that you're not the only person that's currently experiencing those feelings. I think for me that's very reaffirming and that's very comforting to realize that I'm not the only person that's going through this. Sometimes we go through a lot of overthinking and we wrap ourselves up in our own thoughts and we fault ourselves and think that we are experiencing certain things because there's something wrong with us you might think that oh because i'm an introvert maybe i need to become more extroverted maybe if i traveled more at first i would have met more people maybe if i was more engaging with you know the other uh, teachers during orientation if you're currently teaching like me i would have made friends you might go back and regret a lot of things and think you should have done things differently um, so that you could be happier now but the reality is that this is just a natural part of the process there's nothing that you can do to remove the isolation and loneliness you will feel because you have left your entire support system behind at home. The second point I'm going to touch on is a reality that really hit me in the second month of my stay in South Korea. Um, I was feeling very entitled. I think I can call it that. I was feeling very entitled to the help and the support of firstly my co-workers. I felt like it's their responsibility to like help me adjust. Come on, it's your country. Show me places. Tell me like what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I also felt very entitled to the help and the support of other South African teachers who I knew prior to coming to South Africa. I felt like, come on, you've been here before, you've walked this journey before, give me a call once a week, talk to me, tell me what's happening, help me, equip me for how to deal with these feelings and what should I do, like check up on me kind of thing. But I think my twin sister actually called me out on this and she said, listen, dude, this is your journey. So you need to realize that no one owes you like a free orientation package where they hold your hand and they take you to different places and they just, you know, guide you and help you every day. You're an adult. You applied for this thing. You knew what was in, in store, like when you left home. Of course, the reality will be different. But come on, come on, <laughs> just release people off uh, from expectation. And I think that really, really helped. Just realizing that this is my journey. So other people who are currently living in South Korea, whether they are Korean or they are foreigners, they also have their own reality. Like if I'm at school and I'm going to be, you know, sulking and, you know, feeling very isolated and feeding into that negativity and expecting sort of my colleagues to make me feel better, I'm not taking into consideration that they've had their entire lives before they knew me. They have children, they have families, they have their own work, they have their own challenges that I'm not even aware of. They are homeroom teachers, they are HODs of certain departments at school, they have their own friends, their own parents, they have their own things that they're dealing with and they're not all, all of a sudden going to drop everything to make this new like foreigner feel welcome. You know, every every now and then there's uh, opportunities to interact with colleagues and stuff like that. But even with that, if, if that happens, that's great. If it doesn't, that's also great. So I realized that sometimes as a foreigner, you might have these expectations and you might, you know, have a very high demand of like support and be like, yeah, but you this is your country. You should, you know, help me, show me. No, that's not how it works. If you've ever, you know, had those kinds of feelings like me where I was like, these people are not supportive 
they don't owe you that <laughs> no one owes you anything in this journey it is yours you need to walk it you applied just always remember the goals that you had in mind when you sit down and decided that you're gonna leave your country of course there's push factors that contribute towards why you wanna leave your country or why you have to leave your country but at the end of, your, of the day it's your journey own it and realize that everyone else has their own things that are happening. They have their own challenges, their own problems. They have their own lives and they're not going to drop everything to make you feel welcome. The second tip I want to share is just a reminder that these things take time. Adapting to a new way of life, learning a new culture, adapting to a new profession, if maybe you've changed professions, learning a new language, all of those things, they take time. So sometimes you might feel isolated and lonely and feel like you're not your best self yet because you need to just allow time to do its thing. You need to allow uh, yourself to unlearn some of the things that you were doing back home and find more healthy ways of being and thinking and seeing things. Um, you left your whole you know support system at home and it's gonna take time to rebuild support structures that you can rely on it's gonna take time to work on your personality and heal from childhood traumas and learn this new uh skill and master this new skill and you know understand the culture and, and all of that so it takes time give it time the next thing i will encourage you to do is to be very intentional about finding effective constructive and positive ways to deal with loneliness and isolation you need to remember that when you are feeling lonely and isolated you are very vulnerable as human beings we are created as social beings there's a saying no man is an island which means that everyone needs someone when you feel lonely and isolated, you are willing to take anything. All logic, all rationale goes out of the window. You might find yourself just seeking that human connection in places where you wouldn't otherwise seek it if you were, you know, your best self. Other people might start turning to online dating apps, alcohol, clubbing, shopping, uh, ordering food, all of that. There's nothing wrong with the things that I just mentioned. But what is tricky is to start and get into online dating apps and alcohol and clubbing when you are feeling lonely and vulnerable. You might find yourself uh, attracting people that aren't particularly good for you you might find yourself just being in a psychological mess so what i would say is find ways that will be positive for you and your personality type and your likes and your dislikes for me i'm a very introverted person like i i enjoy company with very small circles and I've discovered lately that I enjoy content creation. When I create videos, when I take pictures, when I share information with people on social media platforms, that makes me feel good. That makes me feel like I am part of a community. So find something like that for yourself too whether it will be enrolling for online language classes to learn some of the languages in your new country whether it will be meeting up with friends you know going out places whether it will be clubbing with people that you know that's okay but just find things that align with your personality and try to be consistent in doing those things so that when you are feeling like lonely and isolated and vulnerable it's not only then where you're trying to figure out what can i do to make myself feel better because that will be very dangerous um, to your emotional and sometimes physical well-being the last point i want to make in this video and i think this has been my biggest lesson in south korea so far is that there will always be good days and bad days that's just the general nature of life. Life is hard, life is challenging, and life can also be happy at times. So if you are going through a hard time, you just need to remind yourself that there will be good days, there will be bad days, and you have to embrace them equally. On the bad days, remind yourself of the strength you have to carry on. Remind yourself of other bad days that you've overcome. Remind yourself of the strength that you are given by God or your spiritual guides. Remind yourself of the good that will exist in future. And on the good days, try to be fully present, try to enjoy them, and remember that the bad days will come too. <laughs> but it is a cycle. It is a cycle. It comes with the good and the bad. You just have to embrace it all. And remember that nothing is meant to break you. Nothing is meant to destroy you. Just remind yourself that life is a series of good days and bad days, good events and bad events. But all these are for your good. All these are to shape and mold you into the best version of yourself and keep showing up every day and keep winning. Thank you for watching. See you next time.